student so this is my next video on icsc boolean algebra series so in this series we were covering boolean algebra and its problems so in this particular video we are covering the topic how to solve problem based on k map so we have already seen like how to draw a k map how to fill a k map using sop and pos method so in this uh, video we are going to cover how we can solve problem based on k map so let's begin with our video so let's say this is one question in front of you where uh, i'm just reading out this question first a government institution intend to award a medal to a person who qualifies any one of the following criteria so a government institution has certain criteria and based on that criteria they are awarding medals to the person but he has to fulfill certain requirement or conditions or criteria so the criteria are the person should have been an indian citizen and had lost his or her life in a war but had not completed 25 years service or other criteria either person must be an indian citizen and had served the nation for a continuous period of 25 year or more but has not lost his or her life in a war and third is the person is not an indian citizen but has taken active part in activities for upliftment of the nation so these are the three criteria now you must be wondering what about these what to do with these criteria so we will try to mold this problem in terms of boolean algebra so as you can see the inputs are basically here a now a stand for the person is was an indian citizen so here the a denote the person is or was an indian citizen b has a continuous service of more than 25 years and then c lost his or her life in a war and d take part in activities for upliftment of the nation okay so now based on these criteria a b c and d we will work out on this or the given uh, criteria and evaluate an expression in the next slide so here you be check output x denote that uh, it is uh, eligible then one uh, indicate as yes and zero indicate as no in all the cases so we need to draw the truth table but remember here the truth table we need to draw for input and output and write pos expression so remember we will work with the pos expression and using pos method all right so let's move to the next slide and we will analyze this situation over there have a look at this so with the color i have clearly denoted so that it will be easy for you to understand now the first statement or the first criteria is the person should have been an indian citizen and here you can see i have marked with red so the first statement has the first part that is the person should have an indian citizen it is clearly uh, shows that a will be in uncomplemented form or will remain as it is because it is matching with the given criteria now look at the c part first let's say i have uh, changed the color to blue had lost his her life in war and here the input c says lost his her life in war so c will also be taken as it is now come to the third part of this statement had not completed 25 year of service please make sure that here it is not and b says has a continuous service of more than 25 years but here it says not completed so that is why i have taken b as not so my first statement is actually a c b not okay i hope that you must have understood now coming to the second criteria for awarding medal is the person must be an indian citizen so again 
a will be taken as it is based on the input now the second is had served the nation for a continuous period of 25 years or more and b says has a continuous service of 25 year or more than 25 years so again b will be taken as uncomplimented or as it is now coming to the last part of the statement has not lost his her life in a war remember not in the statement says lost his her life in war so that is why we will be taking c as complemented or c bar or c apostrophe all right now coming to the third the person is not an indian citizen remember and a says the person is was an indian citizen so that is why i have taken a as not a barred all right now the second part says has taken active part in activities for upliftment of the nation and d says the take part in activity for upliftment of nation so d will be taken as it is so now you must have understood based on the given criteria the three criteria we have to form a boolean expression so i have clearly marked those and denoted with the color code also so finally what we have drawn from this is the criteria that is one is a b not c now second criteria is a b c not and the third criteria is a not d all right now finally look at this we have a big or condition over here okay first criteria or second criteria or third criteria means when we will have to put these three uh, you can say the criteria what we have just evaluated there will be or sign that is the plus sign in between each of them so our final expression is a b not c plus a b c not plus a not d so i hope that you must have understood if you have any doubt you can pause this slide or a video and clearly analyze this given condition and you will be easy to uh, understand this okay moving to the next slide now based on that criteria we have to draw truth table now as you can see there are how many variables there are actually four variables a b c and d so you know that when we will draw truth table that truth table uh, will have how many columns basically four columns for a b and c and d with number of possible combination will be 2 raised to the power of 4 because there are four variable that is 16 so based on that we have already you know uh, made those four columns for a b c and d as you know that in the first a column eight zero then eight ones then in b four zero four one four zero four one and c two zero two one two zero two one and so on and in d zero one zero one like that we will move further so this is it now we'll have to add some other columns based on the criteria or the criteria which we have just evaluated or we have just derived that is here also clearly mentioned a b not c plus a b c not plus a not d so i think uh, you can easily do that that we have done in the previous section also how we can draw uh, what you call uh, the Uh, truth table are uh, based on these columns so what you can do is say for a b not c what you can do you can take the value from a looking at the first row first then b will be taken as not and c will be taken as it is and then you just simply solve it so what you can do you can add few more columns in between for b not also which is missing here you will just negate the result of b you can get the b not also and finally based on the value when you are going row wise for a b not c you will be getting this result which is shown in a b not c column for each row same for a b c not 
here you will be taking a and b as it is whereas c as not so you will be getting the output as it is shown in a b not c i think that will be easy for you once you have to you will practice you will come to know easily and same way in the third column that is a not d you will have to evaluate uh, the given expression where a will be negated so a not d will give you this result so that we are not doing here but you can always do while doing on the paper and based on the criteria as given we have already made three different column for three different criteria now as you can see there is or gate in between because there were or condition either first criteria or second or third he will be awarded medal so if the person fulfill any of these criteria means in if uh, looking at these rows if you see there is any one in a b not c or a b c not or a not d the output will be one as you can see in the first column all three are zeros so result will be zero in the second row you have zero zero one for a b not c a b c not and a not d so output is one for third row again all three zeros and then it is zero and in the fourth if you have two zero and the last one is one the ultimate result is one so so on and so forth you can always check the result that if you see any one in that particular row then output will be one because this is the criteria for or condition so we have got one more column with x with the different different values that we have just evaluated now this point you need to remember is this is pos so talking about pos so you always know that we'll have to take only those rows where the output is zero please remember in sob we used to take those rows whose output is one but this is pos so we'll have to take rows with the output zero okay so we have uh, side by side we have written their corresponding expression also as you can see in the first row a b c and d all are zero and you know in pos zero is taken as as it is or uncomplimented that we have discussed in the previous video also so we have taken as it is at a plus b plus c plus d and so on i think that you can easily analyze looking at the each row all right but out of these 16 row we will be taking only those ones where the output is zero that is again a condition for pos that we have discussed in the previous videos so here you can see i have highlighted or mark these rows which we'll be taking with the number as 0 2 4 6 8 9 14 and 50 all right and their corresponding boolean expression by the side of the number i have clearly written okay so i think that you can easily do now okay so moving to the next uh, slide based on this criteria we have got a shorthand uh, you can say pos expression with pi within bracket 0 2 4 6 8 9 14 15 and the above one the boolean expression is also given to you all right now once we have got this expression now rest of the thing we will do which we have already seen in the previous video so we are going quickly here we, we will have to draw a k map of 4 by 4 all right with the gray coding we have to do like 0 1 3 2 4 5 7 6 12 13 15 14 and 8 9 11 and 10 and in those boxes we'll have to fill zero on those boxes which which we are using in the given expression like 0 2 4 6 8 9 14 15 so these boxes 
the boxes which are numbered with the with 0 to 4 6 8 9 14 15 will fill with 0 as we know we are talking about pos in, in pos we fill those boxes with 0 okay now we'll do the grouping like normally we do and that for that we have already discussed in detail in the previous uh, video but anyway we are looking at it so in the, those boxes we have filled with zero now we are looking at the grouping and while doing the grouping we have two pairs of 14 15 and 8 at 9 and one chord by map rolling that is 0 to 4 6 so as you can see here we have mentioned one chord with zero, m0 zero, m2 m4 and m6 and in the pair like m14 m15 and pair m8 and m9 now we know how to reduce it like i told you the variable which are changing their state has to remove for that you can always refer to the previous video and by reducing the chord we will get the two variable which are not changing the state that is a plus d and for pair it is a naught plus b naught plus c naught and for pair 2 that is m8 and m9 that is a naught plus b plus c naught so finally once we have got the reduced expression for the chord and the two pairs we'll put them together to form the final expression and that final expression would be x equals to within bracket a plus d bracket close now for the pair one that is a naught plus b naught plus c naught bracket close and for second pair that is a naught plus b plus c so this is our final reduced expression and if you have little bit of doubt you can always refer to the previous video where i have explained you how we can reduce a given k map using pos method all right so this is the way how we have got the reduced expression now you must have understood how to solve these type of problems and in the coming videos we will be adding few more videos on boolean algebra thank you very much